I'm running everything, so that includes guest comms at the moment and also any kind of ad hoc things which might appear out of nowhere. And so that's why we really needed to make as much as we could because we're such a small team, the, the resources were limited. So the day to day, for example, would be replying to comms, checking today's check-ins, making sure that everybody submitted their information and then verifying it and also tapping in with the cleaners, making sure that they know what they're doing for the day and keeping an eye out for last minute bookings because we also have a booking window which allows same day check-ins and same day bookings. There's lots of hats to wear and juggle. I'm also working on a lot of business development as well. That includes improving our website, improving our social media appearance and how we're coming across to people finding us naturally. Working on SEO as well and also trying to minimize costs as much as I can. Now looking for more cleaners and ways to reduce our linen bills. So there's lots happening. This is the struggle because the other projects are the ones that really do improve the business. So it's the day-to-day -day kind of menial tasks which are important, but they're not really adding value to the company. That's why I really did want to reduce as much time spent as possible on the check-in process. Before Enzo Connect, we were spending at least three hours a day on chasing guests for information, manually sending check-in instructions, oh, and then all of a sudden the email's not sent correctly, so then you have to give the guest a call. So there was just lots of back and forth. That was the first thing that I, I knew I wanted to streamline. And then we came across Enzo. We'd already trialed a few different checking softwares, but it didn't go so well. So when I approached Enzo, I was already a bit apprehensive from previous experience, but it's been really good and it's changed everything. Now spend it around 30 to 40 minutes on it a day rather than three hours. Yes, definitely. So when you also recently updated the look of the boarding pass, so I've also created our own images for late checkout and early check-in. So it all looks really nice and everybody really likes it. We've had good feedback. In terms of guests, going straight to it and just clicking on it and going through checkout it works really well we never really get guests say to us oh i would like this i would like a late checkout can you arrange it for me because they know all they need to do is just click on the button and it's done for them so it's been amazing prior to enzo we were doing it manually so we were still offering it but it was just a case of us having to send out a payment link. It's reduced a menial task there as well. So that extra time is going towards scaling um, and kind of business development. We've got a lot of things that are like in our messaging which is saved. So it's a really easy thing to reply to guests, not hard job. I'm now looking for someone to take on that role in a freelance setting and then that will really free up all of our time in, in the management team and we'll be able to focus on, on scaling and our strategy for scaling. So that's the goal. Next for Pillow Rooms, we're looking for more blocks of apartments, which would range between five to 20 units. It's quite a specific requirement, so it's quite difficult to find. Just means that we have to be creative in our approach. We need to think of ways outside of the box to find those blocks. We're really going to focus on how can we get landlords attention in a different way, which will make us stand out. Um, what we find is there's a lot of uh, competition from bigger players. So that is something that we have to manage um, and make ourselves look just as attractive as say, you know, a, a bigger operator with a VC backing. That's the next challenge. We are going to increase our number of units by continuing to talk about what we're doing to our existing uh, landlords as well so that they know we're still looking to expand because a lot of the time it's your own landlords which have more properties in other parts of the country so that's something that really has helped word of mouth has been amazing it comes down to understanding that let's say we get a new block 
understanding that that would increase the number of, of comms that we would be receiving and ensuring that we've got the systems in place to be able to manage it is really crucial. So it could be a case that we need to hire another virtual assistant or somebody to assist with that and ensuring that the service level is not dropped. It's tricky when you are a small team to make sure that that service level is maintained. All it takes is for one person to be sick and the whole team crumbles. But as we grow, we hope that we'll be able to also grow our team and support as well. It varies person to person. For me, as like a Gen Z, Gen Y, it would be as digital as possible. I, I really like how Enzo, you can do everything on your phone. You can have the boarding pass on your phone. So even just in my day to day, I've got all my loyalty cards and everything's in my Apple wallet. So that feature is so cool. I really like that. If I was staying at our property, that's one thing that I'd be like, that's quite cool. In terms of the ease of it, I just want to know that my booking is confirmed. That is sometimes not very clear when you stay somewhere. You're not even sure if the booking's fully confirmed. So I'd want to see that I've got the confirmation email or message to say, we're looking forward to welcoming you at this property at this time. And that sets the tone and you know that they're ready for me and um, everything should go smoothly there on. And ideally you want that automated check-in where it's either a lockbox or a virtual key. I think those are really nice touches and it makes guests feel like the check-in is on their terms. I feel that there's no pressure to be there at a certain time and everything is kind of at your leisure. In terms of guest experience on a whole, the quality of the apartment or of the property and the cleanliness is really key to me as well. Just a small attention to detail, how the bed is made, how the, the towels are folded, that really does add to the experience. In pillow rooms, we have our online checking system, which is powered by Enzo. Everybody has really, really liked it. You get the odd person who will be a bit apprehensive, but when we explain to them the process and how safe and secure it is, that they're, they're a lot more at ease. And also you've got to understand as well, there's maybe an elderly person who might not have the access to a phone that they'd be able to complete it. So we are quite flexible in that way as well, where we wouldn't be so stringent on, on the fact of guests completing it. In terms of attention to detail within the apartment, we have a set standard way that each room and each apartment should look. We have our beds, which are made in the same exact way, towels folded in the same way as well. And um, so it's those small things and you could go into any pillow rooms and you'll know where, for example, the cutlery drawer is because it's kind of the same in each property. And you'll know to expect inventory, which is 100% stocked as well. So that's what we focus on. We want to make sure that a guest is going to enter the property and have everything they need for their stay. And I think that is what sets us apart from other operators because it's very hard to nail that and we've managed to do it.